In this video, I'm going to show you that some of the configuration could be done on the Vanage devices, although this is not recommended at all, but this is possible. The whole point of using SC-WAN is to control everything centrally, but some of things could be done if you have not applied templates to the devices on that device. Uh, this is one of the examples that I'm going to use. In this example, what I'm going to say is uh, I have multiple customers and my customers are in my different branches and let's say that I have a customer which is called customer number one and it has a branch office in site number two or let's say in the vicinity of site number two and in the, another branch office in the vicinity of site number three and these two should be able to talk to each other and I am not using any template or something so what I'm going to do is to do the configuration on WAN edge, GE01 is connected to this customer number one, and I'm going to create a VRF or let's say a VPN, and I'm going to name it VPN number one. So what I'm going to do is to go to WAN edge device, and I'm going to go to configuration mode, and here I'm going to create VPN one. As soon as I do that, I can assign an interface for that. I can assign, let's say, a DNS number. I can assign, let's say, a default route, and a lot of different things could be configured here. But something which is very imp important, if you just show run, uh, and I'm going to say show run OMP, which is going to be overlay uh, protocol, which we use in our sc -WAN, you can see that by default, anything that I configure is going to be advertised into uh, of OMP which means that I do not really have to do anything about configuration of the protocol and what I am going to do is is just to create a VPN. So let's say interface is going to be GE0 slash 1 and I'm going to say no shot and I will have an IP address of let's say 172.16.21.1 slash 24 for this and then I can just say commit okay now that I have done this I might want to have an adjacency with that router as well so let's go to that router first of all I'm going to start router 21's interface I'm going to say no and I'm going to wait for this to load completely and in this router, Ethernet 00 is connected to Vanage device. So let's wait for this to come up. And then I'm going to configure some stuff on that. So here, en, configure terminal. The host name is going to be r21. Yes. And then I'm going to say interface e0 slash 0 no shut ip address is going to be 172.16 uh 21 21 255 255 255 0 on vh i use 21 1 here i have 21 and if i just try to ping manage device 172.16 21 1 uh, you can see that the ping goes through. And the thing is, that is because on this router I have no idea of the VRF which is configured on the Vanish device. So let's create an interface loop back, 0. IP address is going to be 21, 21, 21, 21, 255, 255, 255. And I'm going to have a routing protocol as well. This is possible to configure routing protocol on managed devices, specifically on VIPTLH devices. What I can do is to use OSPF and BGP. I'm going to go with OSPF, router OSPF1. I'm going to say router IDs, this 21, 21, 21, 21. And I'm going to say network is this one. Well, let's say everything. Area zero. 
Now I'm going to save this configuration. The thing is, because I have configured everything using templates, configuring things using OSPF or using the CLI is going to be a little hard for me. And of course, for everyone. But we are going to have this configuration under VPN. And if you just check here, you can see that I have OSPF configuration somewhere around here, which I'm going to show you. That is raw there. And under that, you can see we have OSPF. And then we can say area. You see that there is no process ID or something here. But what I am having is area. And let's say this area is going to be zero. And after that, I can just select the type of area that I have. So rather OSPF area zero. And under this, I can assign different types of, let's say, configuration to this. But I guess I'm going to commit and see the result. Now that I have committed the configuration, I should be able to see an adjacency on the other side of the network. But I guess I have not assigned any interface for this. So I'm going to say interface G0 slash 1 is going to be part of this. And I'm going to say commit. Okay, now the interface is assigned. And if I just go to R21, you can see that there is an adjacency in this uh, neighborhood. So going back to vanish device. If I say end, and I'm going to say show route, you can see that show IP route, of course. Now you can see that there are some routes which have been received through OSPF. Now the thing is, all these are going to be advertised into OMP because OMP is advertising uh, OSPF inter-area routes by default, not external but inter-area. 